Welcome to a luxury pickers hall where I look like I'm going to a baseball match and should be eating pretzels and drinking a beer. Ooh, beer. Beer. Anyway. I haven't had a beer since the beginning of this year. It's like been two days ago. Days. <laughs> no, six days ago. This is day I'm trying, guys. Six. It might be day five, but it might be day six. So oh, I don't know. This is a haul. So, this is an accumulation of things you have seen in some videos. Some you have not. However, we did go to Bradford Avon, which is a local town to us, very similar to Bath, but smaller. And we bought some bits. And Austin said he didn't have his um, body harness, so he couldn't film. It was in the car that we were driving in that he found after. Hmm. Anyway, so we're gonna... <laughs> it wasn't a lie. So we're going to do a haul anyway because right. obviously we found absolutely amazing things. But obviously, why would we film it? But you know. So anyway, in said town, Austin found this. This was four pounds. There's a zip up kind of like I wouldn't call it a gilet, but I guess it's a sleeveless. Jacket. A sleeveless. It's a gilet. It is a gilet, but I always think a gilet is being padded. You know, it's not a body warmer because that wouldn't warm much. No. A vest. Maybe. A vest, there you go, a vest, a zip vest. Zenga. This will be backwards, I always do that, I don't know why. Z Zenga. Um, I, we recently picked up Zenga Sport Knit in it's our Cardiff bit. video from yeah, we did. a while back. And that wasn't that long ago, actually. We sold that very, very quickly for, we bought it for 4 99 and we sold it for 80 like, oh, yeah. like, like within two days. Quick. So I think this is obviously a much more wearable piece. It is also, um, it's also, it's a sort of an outerwear piece, which always command a bit more prices. What does that say? Ultra light concept, but it has got a feather on it. Has it got feathers in it? Um, do you know what? It's very, very light, but uh, let me just check. It might have feathers in it. Goose or uh, down, any kind of down is good. Um, you can get polyester down, um, which is not as good. It's just is not it a luxury. Um, it's reversible. It could be reversible. Austin. No, it couldn't be because that's the label. Yeah, but, but that's like a little dingle. Yeah, it, like the label's there, but it's totally reversible, isn't it? It is reversible. The zips. That's... The two zips. Yeah, I'm looking at the label. Oh, no, maybe. No, I don't think it's reversible. So here, that's... These are internal zips. Folds is this away. the passport? It folds away. Okay, oh, this is a real, real nice one. This is very new, you know, this label. Yeah. Um, Sorry, we're just um, getting to the technicalities. Of no, it's, the it's, it's not down. It's not. It's polyester. It's polyester. Okay, but um, but, but still, I think you could wear it inside out if you chose to. Yeah, like the, they're actually like they're design. I mean, unless these are like vents. No, it seems, look, there's thing on the outside. No, it's definitely. It's, you can look double button. Yes, yeah, it's reversible. It's reversible, bike. It's reversible. However, but, that's but, a bit much. Well, okay, so no, the, hear me out. Hear me out. This is my theory. It's reversible, but maybe this is where you wear it under a coat. I was gonna say this is like uh, this is like a. Big Layer. So you, 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 all you'd see is that with a jack like on a, the top. It looks like a tech layer. I, I actually prefer that 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 side. Like what I was saying about double buttons. Not that I'm not sure there, there, and there. Yeah. Like there's two, there's two sides. Yeah, to the anyway, yeah. we paid four pounds. Learn on the job, guys. Learn on the job. And I did put an estimate, estimation, estimation of 120. Now I know it's reversible. Guys, Price, five, prices yeah. went up. Um, 150. 150, 150. Any takers? Any takers. We're done 150. Next up is a... Um, Beautiful knit. Is a knit. It's a drawstring bottom as well, which is quite interesting. Very dark and look, very grunge, very Kurt Cobain. Um, it's by a brand called Lodez Burgunda. Burgunda. <laughs> um, and I refer to it as sort of like a, a lark and look brand, but it's not really. It's sort of like a... Very chic, sort of like natural European. It's very like, oh look at me, I'm just totally cool. Yeah. Just in my knit here. Yeah, and it's it's obviously got the asymmetric bottom. It's a wide knit. It's very like fisherman style, but not fisherman. It's very well made too. Um, it is 100% cotton, made in Barcelona. So it's it's a Sabanish brand. Anyway, they normally go really well. Um, they're very well known for their sort of like drop crotch trousers, um, which we have in the store at the you moment. You can see these would totally go with that kind of thing. Yeah. It's very like layer layer centric. We did pay twelve pound for this one. Yeah, but explain why we paid twelve pound because obviously we knew there was there was some value in because, the brand. Because um, it's very desirable and that whole log and look thing is very in and very on trend. Um, and I would expect to get eighty to a hundred back. I am going to push comps a bit, also, but not too much. Just a note: some of these like brands, maybe you haven't heard of, maybe you've heard of it, maybe you own like sixty five pieces from this company. I'm just saying, if you haven't heard of some of these brands, um, like make a note um, just mentally because once again they go quick because like since we've been picking how many of these how many of this brand have we seen 
Two. Yeah, my point. So my point is, but when we do get them, they go up the door. So I just had a thought that everyone always says they make lists when they watch our videos. We yep. should just bring out our line of a list. Uh, no, the list. Notepads. <sighs> notepads on their way. No, they're not on their way. Anyway, next <laughs> up is um, I've never actually sold this, and I thought I'm going to give it a go because this piece feels very premium. Um, it's Muncy or Munt Munty Muncy. Be careful. M Mumphy Mumphy. Yeah, but with with your with your with your twang, Mumphy. Anyway, okay. so it's a f this so it's cotton like mild fabric. This is mild, 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 mild? not mild, mild, mild. mild. All right. And this is a velvet stripe. Mm. They're velvet. They are. And then this is like a coated gold section. Yeah. Um, I just thought it was very nice. It's very premium. It feels premium. I was just going to say, sometimes on the screen, you, you may not, well, obviously you can't nice, feel it, but it? you don't get it. But this, even the cotton, the cotton feels really good. The the edge, the, like the... It's very yummy, mommy. It's just it? very, very nicely made. Anyway, we paid £6 for this. Um, they sell it in like a high-end department store, such as like Fenwick, some places like that. Coggles, Kugels, however anyone says it. And um, retail, <laughs> retail is about 50 to 70. You put in faces. Will so I do such a mean. thing? Um, so I'm gonna try Come and get on, Carl, I'm gonna try and move. get forty out of it and see where we go. But I've never sold it. So if anyone has sold this brand before, then you let me know. You're probably all gonna tell me it's rubbish and that I shouldn't have picked it up. And well, I'm gonna give it a go. I'm gonna give it. Do a you know go. what we say to that? Oh. Anyway. <laughs> Give it a go. Next up is an Agnes B dress, which I am going to personally try on. Not in this video, in my own private time. <laughs> <laughs> Absolute hilarity. It is 100% right. wool. It's uh, called the robe. Right, I'm going to do this top one up so it's a lot easier for me to do so it doesn't open. And Anything do called the robe, I'm, and I, like, I'm look, interested like, in. Like, look, look at it. Just look at it. At the moment, you're saying look at it and it's just a great screen. Like, it's amazing. Then, like... Button sleeves, like there's a lot of detail to this. A this button is new neck. attacks. Now we also picked up an Agnes B. Agnes B. People have mixed feelings about Agnes B. But we did pick up an Agnes B. Kilt in a Wells video, um, from Vlogmas or Uploadmas, and we paid six pounds for that, and it sold for eighty in two days. Um, this is also it's also full length and uh, wool. It's newer tags. It, I, I've mentioned this. We did pay a lot of money for it. Yeah, we did actually. We paid £24. What would retail have been? Between 300 and 500 on this type of garment. Now, their prices vary. The more like normal, sort of like casual dresses uh, start about 200 up to 300 mm. This maxi dress is 100% wool with a bit more detail. The closest one I can find to it on current website is very similar, but it's got more of a bib here. Um, and that is up for 500. So between three and 500. So I'm going to push new attacks 200 pounds and get a buyer that wants that dress as much as I want to try it on. One thing to mention about something like that was on its own, if you'd been kind of like a non-brand, um, that if there's if it's only a few pounds, it's worth picking up because the style itself is like so on trend at the moment, even more mm -hmm. so it's wool. But the fact that it is, is that kind of style and a brand, because a lot of things um, as recent as we pick up in charity shops and places like that, that they although they'll have brands to them, that doesn't necessarily mean they're in vogue or in style right yes. now. And that's both. So if if you can kind of tick both boxes, that's what you're really looking for. Yes. This is just a piece which goes under something else. So yeah, I'll hold that for me. That. This is a underslip to this dress. This is a dress by Graham and Spencer, Velvet by Graham and Spencer. Um, I do love a company that labels their slips. That's like, you know the what I mean? Label, they always yeah. fall out and you never know which they're from. We paid £10 for this. Uh, Velvet by Graham and Spencer, also another very underrated brand. They sell it on, um, so very popular with the Americans. They did sell it in Anthropology for a bit. And, and they Ron sell it in see through it, as you can Harvey see. and Nichols. Now they have two oh, bows. Harvey and Nichols. Harvey and Nichols. Both. They have um, two strings to their bow. They have a T, they have a range called T, T. Um, T. To like, to like basic t-shirts oh, okay, yeah, yeah. and things like that um, and then they also sell dresses and their dresses are about £300 however people get mixed up between the two because there's no di di differentiation in the labels they're the same usually. labels um, but one's like a more casual like t-shirt dresses and fun things like that and that ain't and then there's this um, Austin did show you where he's put it down but I think it's got a I'm real sure a lot. like t Y2K vibe like yeah. it's very like Rachel from Friends do you know actually depending on the person obviously depending on your style I actually think it would look amazing if you didn't use the slip and have black underwear, amazing. Oh, Austin. Yeah, just saying. Mm. 
Mm. Getting fruity. Risky. You're scared. No, you um, know what I mean, though? It's a, it's a vibe, okay. and it's very runaway then. You're going to list it for 100 bucks. I actually think sometimes, you know, like, going off subject or not, I actually think sometimes when you take, um, the reason they put their slips in, you'd never have a slip. Very, how many slips do you see on a runway? Mm -hmm. Some, I guess. I guess I don't look more at often, yeah, What I'm saying is more often than not, because they're a, a specific style, they take away from the dress. This is. Now, we picked us, this up in a local dress agency in the same town no, in which we visited excuse me? the said charity shops what are you doing it's my nose gross um and we picked this up from the men's um dress agency so it's a mm. suit agency mm. <laughs> i never thought of that anyway so we this is are you saying ladies can't wear suits my dear no i'm, I'll be I, bad. I'm, I, I'm not saying men can't wear dresses either because so. why do you say suit agency are you call are you causing oh, trouble on the camera yeah, anyway, so are. this is Come de Garçon. Come de Garçon. Uh, Come de Garçon is very famous for uh, their little hearts. They do hearts and they put hearts on converses. Um, they're also famous. They That's what they're known for commercially, I guess. Yeah, and then, but this is full line. This is this like is fashion. main line. Um, so this is a, what, this is 100% wool. Yep, so V-neck. It's got a nice little stripe detail. I like the little stripe. It's very like varsity, but like English gentleman. I, I actually think this is probably not me meant to be worn with a shirt at all. I like it. Come to Garcia on a very light, um, very cool cash. So I think this should be like this is almost popular like, with the Asian market. Very much so. Yeah. Like uh, most of it's Japanese. No, you can wear like a little t-shirt underneath. Um, anyway, it was medium. Yeah, but it's really oversized. We pay fourteen pounds to the dress agency. Don't sleep on dress agencies. I'm watching you. Don't sleep on them because they're cheaper than charity there. shops. A lot they? of dress agencies, um, even if they know their stuff and they're really, really good. I'm not saying they're not, but some aren't. Um, but even if they are really, really good, would you not agree that sometimes, like resellers, they get product they've had for a long time and eventually they're just like, do you know what? Get out the door. Yes. And what happens is, like this might have been, even a, like, it's a lot of money retail. Retail, uh, give an example. 400? Um, yeah, like a lot, a lot of money. So to get it for like 14 pounds, well, 14 pounds you pay? 14 pounds yeah. and it will be listed for 2 to 250. Okay. 200 to 250. Uh, Vestiaire, eBay, um, Depop. I'm trying to think of places I list that. I wouldn't list it on Vinted. eBay and Vestia as a main priority and then Depop as a secondary priority. So from the same place? From the same place, we bought some Prada. Once again, this is mainline, not Linea Rossa, not... Um, uh, other, nylon. Other night lines that Prada do. Or Sport. <laughs> this is a full so, line tailoring. This is a dress um, shirt as well. It's cotton. It feels like silk. It's the most bizarre material. I, I said that to you. A lot of the time as well, you'll find, like, uh, you might even own one of these oh and not God, know. It smells so good. It smells amazing. Um, everything, just to clarify, everything when we buy, we wash and steam oh after God, uh, when it, before you send out. Yeah, it smells lovely. Um, a lot, for a lot of people who might not know, a dress shirt. Um, non button down dress shirt you're always anything which is like higher end and a good way if you're not sure about shirts or shirts brands and not i'm not saying cheap ones don't have it but you'll always find um collar collar stays so like they usually they usually kind of come they can come plastic you can buy metal ones actually but if you um see a shirt with those like you can combine from marks and Spencer's now but from like the, la the last 20 odd years they become more and more popular if you see old shirts with these they're worth a lot across the board um Side so note. this was really very expensive from the dress agency this was 10 pounds yep dress agencies are sometimes cheaper than and then um what am i saying sometimes cheaper than charity shops so, and that's okay so there was a fault with this shirt okay so that which once again we okay. we realized while we were looking so once again, this is a dress shirt, and a dress shirt predominantly well. This will always be worn tucked with a tie and tucked. It's kind of a business uh, business um, shirt, if you know. A tire. So this is ink. It's at the very hem of the shirt, and I guess from the look of it, it would be tucked from about here. Someone's put a pen in their back pocket. So it's obviously a back pocket thing. Um, once again, it will take a little bit off the value, but to be really honest, because once again, anyone who says, oh, well, you know, if they want to buy it, and it's got an ink stain, they know where the ink stain is. If it's here, it's a problem. Um, but with that, first it's on the back, and secondly, it would be tucked in, as I say, because it's a dress shirt. So, as much as I'll take a little bit off the end price, don't let that kind of thing bother you if it makes sense. Like I say, if you've got a big spodge here, don't just leave it. Yeah. You know? So, £10, and we will list for, I will list for 120 and take off as over 100 
and I would say you probably add another like 40 or 50 if it was mint perfect. Yeah, up to 200 for a mint one. Uh, it's from the same shop. Again, I know. This is Marnie. This is old label Marnie. I prefer the old label Marnie I in terms of actual too. the label. Yeah, same. I think it's got more character. It looks high-end as well. Anyway, um, this is a men's um, card good. I think it's brown. I know I say I think it's brown, but it looks brown, but it looks grey. So... Uh, no, it's brown. Yeah, you're right. Anyway, so this is Cardigan. Austin picked this up, um, also £10. Um, apparently, this was all from the same gentleman, just so you know. £10. Um, what I didn't know until the man was talking at the till, but apparently Austin swears that he knew, is it's 100... Yes, we did. It is 100% cashmere. Yeah, well, when I, to be honest, when I picked up, it was just really soft. And what I, I didn't see the label. They were like, like they were all on one rail, like the, yeah. all these bits were on one rail. I don't know if they had them for a while, like I said, or not. I don't know what it was. But they were all they were all cheap. They weren't even on sale or anything. They were just, that was the prices. I felt like that's really, really nice. We'll see what it is, because it's long sleeve. It's a cardigan. And I saw mine, and I was like, I it don't even It does have a, one minor hole to the cuff, and I will price yeah, it where accordingly, is that? because um, Let's show the I'm, not gonna right, I'm not going to repair it. So the end customer will have to so repair is, it. Is there... I don't know if you can see or not anyway the other thing is about that like i say about things you may not notice or may notice i'm not saying you wouldn't say it obviously putting your list in but it's the back it's the back side of a cuff so it's not here it would be like under here and i don't know i, know, I, so I guess it's from a watch or something actual yeah, fact where so, it is someone will enjoy it anyway i'm gonna list it for a page of 10 we're gonna list it for 100 cool with the with the floor the i just think about that 100 pounds with some the hole in it yeah because of the brand the brand is wonderful anyway next up we went to the ladies version of the men's dress insane. agency yeah um and we thought well the men's are so good oh we've got two other things for the men's but we'll show you we'll show those now yeah um so we found this uh as we were going out the door actually it's pink and navy blue it's a pin pin stripe or just thin like stripe. a fancy version of jack wills it is <laughs> It is a linen blend. It's fifty percent linen, fifty percent cotton. It's Essily, which is the sister brand to Isabel Morant, um, but it's still obviously a very expensive brand. It's only a small, and it was eight pound fifty, which is just is literally charity shop prices. So uh, there's no arguing really with it. A, a couple of times when we were in there, and like some of these are like I say higher prices. They're not high prices at all, but like fifteen twenty pound. It's not something we'd spend in the charity shop. I'll be honest, every day for any old piece. But you have to remind yourself, and we do it to each other all the time, when you're in kind of like a dress agency or somewhere like that, do you say to yourself, will I buy in a charity shop if I saw that? Yes, I would. <clears throat> because you do get a bit, you kind of uh, set yourself up because you're not in a charity shop or at a boot sale and you're in a kind of a, more of a retail setting. Yeah. I just think people are a bit more... Anyway, you know, I list that one for 60 paid £8.50. Still a great return. But we were buying other pieces in the shop. I saw this hanging lonesome it um is. it is like ruffle pleated and i hope you i hope that gives you a clue as to what it is the back is kind of like ruffle pleated halfway and then the rest yeah. is like a, a drop kind of yeah, fun. it's brown it's wool um this it's like felted wool though it's very really unusual this is by izzy miyaki um who is a japanese yeah i believe so japanese designer uh designer who recently unfortunately um passed passed um but the price like anything has gone through the roof because of it. Very famous for the Pleats Please range, which I know people pick up and um, it I sells really well. Too, you know? um, but this isn't from that collection. This is just, um, I say just, but it's from main collection. Um, these re these re retail, I couldn't tell what they retail for nowadays. Um, but the resale on this, this piece would be a £300 minimum. Um, I would sell on Vestiaire. Um, I, I will list on eBay, but I think it will sell on Vestia yeah, because it will sell to someone who's, it who, who knows what they're it will. looking for. Not the people on eBay don't, but like if you're a serious collector, like we have people, um, in actual fact, there's certain brands we have that if we get if we pick them or find them or, or whatever else in the wild, um, we'll email them before we actually put them on live because there are certain collectors for certain kind of, not even just four brands, but like um, seasons or, or um, uh, what am I trying to say, collections of certain brands and you, we've got X, Y, and Z. Do you want it? It's a great condition. Boom. Yeah, great. So it would look nice, again, on, wouldn't it? Look. It's amazing. I, you know, honestly, it's lovely. Really, really nice. Anyway, um, we paid twenty four for this, um, and yeah, I will list for three hundred. I will take any. I would take serious offers. I'm not, you know, like when you've spent that much, you know what your profit margins are. Um, by the same time, if someone offers me fifty, they can bite me. Um, <laughs> But no, I'm being serious. Well, because it's not, it's worth more. It's worth like. a lot more. But by the same token, you know, Bethany said list it for X. Even if you, even if you took a hundred off that, I wouldn't choose to, but you're still, you're still making a huge, you know, there's a big, there's a big X there. You I know always I mean? price above, uh, slightly above market value uh, to, 
have a leeway for offers. However, this 300 is about market value for that. Speaking of people who have sadly passed. Oh, that's depressing, Austin. No, it's not. We found Vivi. Vivs. So me and Bethany have this thing. Um, we always say to each other before we go, and this is so weird to say out loud, but we always say to each other before we go in every to a town, right, what are you looking for? What are you looking for? And not because we need those brands, but because like some Just days, fun in there, if like, you, you look like finding something. Manifesting. We, manifesting. We said Vivian Westwood, and that, actually there was two Vivian Westwood pieces in the shop. The second we didn't buy because it was... Faded. Uh, was that? The colour was off. Yeah, if we said fake, I was like, no, it was fake. Faded, oh, yeah, faded. faded. Um, this piece, however... Is... Well, we saw this. Wait, don't show the bottom. We saw this like this, and we were like, it's tw it was twenty four pound, which is like silly money. I like, guess in silly also cheap. Also for red label. Yeah, it's red label, which is obviously. Uh, if you don't know about the different scales of label, then please visit our Instagram page. Where I've made a whole spreadsheet. It's on uh, the, the, the archive stories or whatever. It's on highlights, and it just highlights. tells you the difference. So, oh. Vivian Westwood, Vivian Westwood Couture, mess around here. It tells then you where they are as regards the brand. Red label, um, Anglomania. That's it, right? Anyway, I always say to people, Anglomania is slightly cheaper, but still very expensive. Not as expensive as Red Label or Couture. However, I always say, oh, pick up Vivian Westwood, Anglomania, if it's unusual. If you look at it and go, what is that? That is amazing. Or that's crazy. Or who the hell would wear that? Yeah, that then, means it's expensive. Then it's it doesn't great. matter if it's Anglomania or not. Um, but I, this, Anglomania has started producing street, more street wearing things like joggers, t-shirts, polos. Like tie-dye stuff, yeah. The, there, is a, there is a ceiling to that kind of stuff. But anything, you know, but anyway, this was Red Label. I was going to buy it anyway for £24 until Austin <laughs> lifted it up. Oh, my God. Can you see it on the screen? Oh, yes, I can. Both sides. Be still my beating heart. Look at it. Look at it. It's beautiful. Anyway, um, listing. Uh, I, I've got. I, <laughs> I've got Dave ABL in my head. It's also hundred percent wool, just to clarify. And I keep keep going to say listing value on this item. Is... <laughs> Shout out ABL, One of, um, true gentleman. I, we are going to list this for two fifty. Prices are a bit higher at the moment because of the situation. However, they will probably come down a bit on mm. like the more street wear stuff. But pieces like this always keep their value. So two hundred and fifty to three hundred pound for a twenty four pound investment means that is a return of ten x. Um, just a side note as well. Someone messaged us this week actually about um, a video masterpiece they found. Um, Bethany pretty much said the same thing before we found this actually um, about the same thing that if it looks crazy and you you know it's a bit mad, that's the ones to buy. I love the lining. Oh, I haven't even seen the lining. Oh my yeah. god. Do you see that? Yeah, like put up close. Orbs. Yeah. But it's like corseted. It's like corseted lining. Like there. Yeah, there. Yeah. It is, it's boned, isn't it? No, it's not boned. No, it's, it's not boned, but it's, cool. it's like, it's got the element of it. It's amazing. Like, anyway. oh, you can see it there, sorry, yeah. It's kind of obvious there. <laughs> Either way, um, what I was going to say was a lot A lot of people, are like, if if, you, if you're not generally, um, I don't know. Jazz? Uh, no, no, a, a favourite with, like, Vivian Master in general. Oh. If, like, anything, no, if you were to class it normal looking, forget about it, it's, don't bother. The uh, whole point of Vivian Master is to be like the truth, the crazy, the madness, like draped, yeah. corseted. The corsets are like top tier. asymmetric, like asymmetric. Just... Anything strange. Um, I'm really after if anyone comes across it. I'm after two T-shirts. There's one. Um, <laughs> there's one where the top half has a graphic that is nude, shall we say? And there's also a T-shirt that says "Mother." Yeah. On it, which I would like to. Um, they yeah, also, if yeah, anyone comes they, across they, them. Like, they're, they're special. Anyway. Gym leggings. We found these today. This is new, fresh off the press. Um, this is actually going up before the picking video of these, so that's a fun one. Yeah. Um, these are from a brand called Coral. They sell them in Selfridges. Sorry, um, them it's them. a very high-end brand. Um, leggings are on par with the pricing of sort of like Lululemon, a bit more than Spicy Betty. These are leopard print. They're pink. These We're... are also really nice condition. Yes. Like... They smell nice too. They smell amazing. We're in... Um... I should start smelling clothes. We're in gym season. Um, so, you know, height of gym season. I was a bit because they are small but as austin made a very good point <laughs> small small people buy clothes too <laughs> no I, I said small people buy small things yes but small people buy small things it was three pound fifty and i will list for fifty pounds of the finest english uh, money in the same shop we also found this 
Uh, honestly, at this point, we've found so much of this lately. We actually aren't going to start a Windsor London oh, I know. If anyone's interested. <laughs> um, so this is Windsor London, with the tag this time. Um, and newer tags. Good How can you tag. say no? <laughs> £10, it is a sort of like fitted body comb. But it's got Look at them sleeves. sleeves. They're really quite snazzy. Damn, son. Um, it's got sort of like a retro. I always think all their stuff has a retro look. It's meant to be what? tailored women's wear. So like, you know, I can imagine an attorney or like a barrister that like means business. Like you, you ain't, you ain't with her. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So I, I personally won't wear it. Don't it <laughs> the other thing I was going to say in the last video, I mentioned this and um, <laughs> Sorry, there's, there's a stripe usually, not yeah. all of them, on Windsor Linda, which goes from the front and the back. So if you're not if you're not sure, these tags sometimes, as we've said in another video, come off. Just keep checking that because that is that is That's a thing. That's a nice detail too, little buttons. Ooh. So is that if, you, if you're like, I tell you what, so it's like, so you're going to the office, yeah? Barrister well, in the work. I was going to say buff then, wouldn't you? Um, I'm going to work, right? Yeah. All of a sudden, those bad boys are down. We're off out. That's all I'm saying. We've clocked out. Anyway, so uh, right, I bought that for we bought that for ten pounds. I wanted for one hundred and fifty smackaroonies. The last thing I sold new with tags wins and sold a best. Yeah, so I'm gonna prioritize that it. Looks like a neon. This is a t-shirt, ladies' t-shirt. Um, I like the label myself. It's great. Is it ladies? Uh, yes. No, maybe not. No. no. Look, look at the way this no. is. What it's size not. is it? What size it's is it? It's small. Small. You're holding on you, and that oh, looks no, like okay, you're yeah. a couple of sizes smaller. I, I actually so being, do the being, being, uh, being like one hundred percent with you. I think that's late men's. Yeah, I know it's men's. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sure mm -hmm. it is now. Um, why do you not? Why did you think it was? It's called the Tin Dong. No. That's look at this for a label, guys. Mm -hmm. Just like so you know, rough stuff. Like it's insane. Yeah, they're meant for riding. The Tin Donkey. Right? The Citroen H-Van was used as an official Tour, tour de France broom wagon from 1947 to 1958. The corrugated bodywork was inspired by the tin donkeys made by Junkers, a German aircraft manufacturer. It's called the France T-shirt. I'm going to say it's men's at this point because I think it is. It's 100% cotton. It's what got the like? spell out logo on it, which everyone loves. And pink and grey. You know men love pink. It's you know true. What? Truthfully, no, like, I'm a big advocate for pink, but I did think... Just, just quite one neon. Look. Yeah, it's quite it's, Barbie, it's, it's, isn't it? It's like it's yeah, it's it's anyway, a lot. We paid, we paid, we paid. <laughs> what did we pay? We paid, we paid the grand sum of <laughs> two pounds for that one. Um, it was two pounds. We're going to list it for forty. Forty. Okay, this is a vintage is sports t-shirt from the you, States. It's all you, buddy. No, I'm not That's on a nutmeg tag. That's a good tag. Yeah, it is, and it's made in the US. Oh, it, it's, 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 <laughs> that was so sassy. Was it? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It's been well, new I, I showed the folks at home. You're messing with my mind, lady. Um, yeah, it's made Cardinals. Is it Cardinals? I, 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 for the life of me, I can't read that team. I haven't, I haven't Googled it. It's about a bird. Oh, you think? <laughs> like, so where, where, where would she get the reference from? It might from? be a college team. I think it's baseball, though. Maybe collegiate. Anyway, either way. Uh, uh, Ohio. It's a vintage. Yeah, it looks like a high the first bit. Anyway, it's a vintage sports tee from the States, made in America, single stitch. It will sell. It costs like, what, £3, £2.50? It was £3, but it's fully embroidered, which is really nice. I'm just rubbing you to rub you now. I'm just stay there. Let's stop. Uh, £3. Is it a size large? It is not. It's a small, small maybe. Maybe a, a medium. This is going well. We're filming this. At medium. Night. It's been on it's the a whole medium. day. Single stitch. How much would you sell it for, Austin Aubrey? Forty of the oh, the Queen, the King's English. The King's English. Oh my goodness, that sounds strange. We won't get into that at this very moment in time. These are nudie jeans from the same shop, which is normally famously known to be quite expensive. These are the best condition uh, nudie jeans. Like brand new. Apart, uh, ladies, I picked up good ladies, but men's nudie jeans I've ever picked up. And they were know. four bucks. Four whole pounds. Four pounds. Nudie grey, jeans. Grey, straight leg. Like, they're always a good pickup. They always sell really quickly. Do you know what? And also bigger sizes are better. Do you know what? I had some knackered ones that had knackering around the... Um, Hem? No. Around the inner thigh. And... <laughs> I'm going to vomit. And No, if I want Vinton, they sell for 50 pounds. I don't ask any questions. We simply say we simply get the money 
and we send the product. So we should be able to get like 70 for those, I reckon. A one thigh. Uh, do that coat last and then we'll do the, the bag. Oh yeah, I see the okay, bag. Okay, so we also picked this up today. I know, it's exciting. Um, this is an Ariat coat. It is down filled, which once again is fantastic. There's the logo. It, and it is a the ladies name. large, um, but they do fit small. I have to say that. Um, obviously, these are equestri this is equestrian wear. Is it, um, is it, is it uh, made in America? Yes, it's it's very popular. Oh, in America. Zipper. That's cool zipper. Very popular. I'm a detail freak for anyone who okay. doesn't know. We paid. It's got a check pattern as well. We paid eight pounds. Um, and it. You know what? It's been worn. It's yeah, not yeah. min 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 no. min. Um, but it's it's eight pounds and it's down. Retail would have been about oh, wow. one fifty two hundred. Um, and they seem to be selling on eBay for about a hundred used. So I'm gonna go. And you say it's not it's not like beaten or anything, but it has signs of wear. So like you said, I would say, um, it's still like how much was how much was paid? You said eight, four, eight, eight, eight. Okay, so the last um, the men's shop we were talking about earlier, we went in and you hold one, I hold another, and then we can be twins. Okay, can I go those? Oh, do you want these ones? I'm joking. Okay, ready? Wait, let's get me prepared. Should we do a countdown or not really? No. It's... Oh. oh, you beat the sound effect. I didn't get a chance to. Oh, my bad. Oh. I'll be honest, my sound effect was. Same person, same age. This is an 80s same label. Same size. Um, they fantastically, amazingly, by the pure grace of, Look at the, condition of, of the, age. Uh, the Gucci gods, um, have reissued this shoe this year. Who would know that, Bethany? We Me, would. That's who. I used to work for them. I'm like um, freaky. <laughs> these retail, the new ones, these are vintage, obviously. This is the original, what Mr. Uh, they would have worn in like House of Gucci sort yeah. of mood. Um, these now retail for £610, which just like the hurts my brain cells. And the, honestly, this leather, I, I defy anyone to say the new leather is as good as this. It's it not. is butter. Um, you can see on the bottom there, they have got heel wear because they're... Oh, the, other, the other cool thing is actually about these as much they have heel wear which is very very they're rare big, you know. they're, they're 45 and a half yeah. um which you hardly ever get on shoes this age is the actual i don't know if you can uh, i don't know the if you can see that here gucci. it says gucci italy so obviously they've not been resold which like is outstanding usually you get that resold and this is kind of original anyway but once again you can see the so stamping um there. it's obviously people normally find more traditionally the horse bit loafers which have the horse bit across the front which they now refer to no there's two so then there's there's three yeah. so there's um there's the original horse bit loafers yep then there's the jordan loafer yep. which is sort of like a shorter front then there's the prince towels the prince which town. have a point more pointed front now they all look the same so you might think i'm going crazy but they're all <laughs> yeah. slightly different and they've all got different names so if you're ever looking it. it's, it's so annoying but if you're ever looking for prince towns and like an essay or whatever says to you um we've got jordans don't be put off they're they literally look the same actually i think i think you have a pair my um, prince towns prince towns the pink ones yeah, but then my gold ones are classic loafers with a heel. And one of those was a lot cheaper because it was not technically... No, the Prince Towns are cheaper. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, the Prince yeah. Towns are cheaper. But, but the Prince Towns are more you, you, you asked and you were seeing, like, what do you have? Yeah. Once again, it's like ha it's like having... Actually, the same thing applied to... I shouted very loud then. The same thing applied to Alexander McQueen and the Chunky Sold, which everyone knows, Larry's. that trainer. Huh? One's called a Larry. Some people call it called the oversized it. sneaker. Um, it was they're, called the Larry. They're different. But they're, they are so slight. I, I, I actually have both of them, and they're totally different. They wear different. The sizes are different. The, the sole inside is different. Yes. They're totally different. But once again, it's just something to note when you're picking so these if up. if you're or, reselling you know, the oversized Alexander McQueen trainers, you might not actually have an oversized Alexander McQueen trainer. And it can make a difference in cost, too. So it you make, make more money. It also can make a difference in the authentication process on Vestia and on ebay because if you're sending people... in a trainer that's meant to be an oversized trainer and it's not it's a larry they're gonna say no that's not that's not an oversized trainer they don't care whether you know the difference or whether they know the difference that is not what you have sent in i'm finding out there who has used the authentication service on ebay um so far it's, very good. Mm -hmm. it's okay like to be honest like <laughs> I don't we, think it's always we, necessary, we, we, but it's fine. We haven't had any issues, but why would we? By the same token, like I do think I've heard bad things as well, and eh, I don't know, whatever. It's more so with high-end traders. It, it annoys me because things. If if you really, uh, with all due respect to eBay, and I know they're like a, a multi-billion-dollar company, but if if you had if you had someone in for each for each shoe in each department for each 
like uh, style for each brand who actually knew that level of detail detail about these yeah, shoes yeah, yeah. You, you couldn't you could never employ that many people so i just don't know we'll anyway see. anyway so we pay f they literally the the man i don't know whether he was vibing but the man said that they literally come in the day before so we did ask for a deal but we were just being cheeky how, mean how much did we pay 30 pounds each 30 pounds each we asked for two for 50 and he said no but that's fine you if you don't ask you don't get the only thing the only thing bad it was a bag. Yeah, sure. yeah, I know. You just threw those aggressively at the floor. What's the floor done to you, Austin? It's just there. Um, you know what I was going to say was, um, the, the stupid thing about that actually is regards deals and being stupid and just getting excited because they were very, very nice. And it, like, you never see vintage in this condition, especially the interior. Men's. Like, usually, they, no, like, Men's. never. Never. Because once again, as I've said before, as a man, we hold on to everything, like, for a thousand years, even if we don't ever wear it again. Men sell so quickly as well in the resale market. I love men's, but we just we just if don't the, get the quantity of men's. If I if these fit me, they're like they're like three or four sizes too big. They literally look like I, I'm I'm wearing my dad's shoes, like as I'm a small boy. I'm not a small boy, clearly. Um, kind of weird, but. If they fit in, I'd keep them both. For that much money, like yes. £60. Pounds, geez, Louise, anyway, because pairs. of the reissuing of these shoes, Princetown loafers, I'm I'm selling at about 200 Not Princetown. Um, uh, course bit loafers, I'm selling at about £200 pound a piece. Princetowns get a bit more. Yep. Um, they get about 300 Because of the reissuing of these shoes, and I think the world is moving more in this direction of a more classic sort of like vintage vibe, but like still with style. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, because you know what? Like, oh, sorry, let me grab one of the ones. Wear this I, with I think... like a streetwear look with a, like I, would a, I was a just going to say. Sticky or something. E e or even, 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 an, even the other way. Do you like, do you like a blazer? Like, think of like, like summertime because a lot of people, are, you mean you can wear these really cool, uh, like cool coloured socks like green, a green sock on the navy would be cool um with like you say cropped cropped chinos or something yeah. on the flip side you could wear these with um uh trainer socks the invisible kind of socks so you can't see them uh shorts and a, and a, and a like a, i don't know uh, a button up in the summer either way they look so expensive Versatile. Yeah. anyway i'm gonna list them at 300 pound a piece um, once again so that next, is i guess a 600 pound return from those two pairs of shoes for a 60 pound investment uh, the one thing I'll mention is this place um, we went to, we've been there multiple times, we go there every time we go it's to this particular this town. Way. Like, this was like, um, I don't know if it was after Christmas, I don't know if no one, uh, which hadn't been in for months or whatever else. Um, but I will say, it's never, ever, ever this good. It's okay, like, we've got bits and pieces before. But this was like a really good, kind of like you said, like a mother load. Um, and we ended up spending, I don't know, all told was like, I don't know, over 100 quid or something ish. Yes. But there's, there's a lot of money to be had. And don't, like Bethany said, don't sleep on um, dress agencies. Sometimes. You, you think because of a retail store, maybe they, there's not that much in it for you? Incorrect. I, I guarantee you tell me that any of the charity shops you go in, you would have found these. If they were in the glass cabinet, they would be £30. Oh, pounds. Oh, not more than You're that. You're not on camera. I, I, you, I know. You, you I'm just, just chilling over here. It's just having a little <laughs> you should, moment. You just go by here. I'm just having my five minutes off. So I okay. Just, you know, I'm overworked. It's a long video. I'm my overworked, apologies. underpaid. Um, paid? You get paid? <laughs> anyway, um, we are... <laughs> This is going up tonight, and then we're flying. We're not flying anywhere. But I was like, "Where are we going?" <laughs> we're no one's I mean, me. we're like flying over, you know. But yeah. we're people might actually we're flying somewhere. No, we're travelling in an automobile back down to the beautiful sunny abroads of Essex, England, mm. tomorrow. Um, we're stopping in St Albans, and then we're going on to Essex um, and hitting um, East East London. So yeah. Um, I don't know I did that. Um, so we'll be back. We'll be back tomorrow for um, another instalment of um, us. Um, for anyone worried about um, our sleep patterns or anything like that, they're all the, full. No, we we haven't got any. We don't have. They any don't yet. exist. But we're getting through it. And no, is it like the first few days was good. a bit rough, but we're we're, get, we're getting better now. So we, I hopefully we come across a little bit more um, stable, cohesive. No, st never stable. No. Well, it wouldn't be stable. Cohesive? Um, yeah. But you, do you stick with us and we'll stick with you and we'll, we'll, we'll sort of hang out. We're like meet in the middle. It's all about give and take <laughs> in this relationship. Anyway, um, we've been the luxury pickers. I'm doing, day keep, I'm doing ABL again. We've been Love you, Dave. <laughs> we've been the luxury pickers. You've been wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 yeah. Yeah, so much. Bye.